but I want to show you how I've put the cargo trailer conversion into the garage for the winter. Now the very front end is out just a little bit because of the chimney. I've got it just kind of close to the roof. Put a tarp over that. No water gets in. But it's amazing just to have it out here to be able to work on it and modify some things and do this and that. But because I have it in here, obviously I can't use the wood stove, which, you know, if I wanted to, I could pull it outside. But I wanna show you what it looks like with the bed in the halfway position. As you can see, the shower space is all cleared out. Normally you can pull that down and set it up as an extension of the bed and then it, it comes down, the legs pull out, the top piece flips over, connects to this, this folds down, and this is the toilet area. This is where I keep a little camping toilet, and if it were full time being used, you would have this spot for a composting toilet, or of course, you can put it in the shower in the front part of the cabin. But this is how I have it set up right now because today we are using the Buddy. This is the first time I have ever fired up the Buddy. I bought it last year to add to my collection of survival gear and I've never used it because uh, I've always just used the wood stove. But today we're gonna use this. I came out here, I was just tinkering around. I just wanna show you what it looks like. Um, this is the shower space. I never really show off the shower space much. Um, this panel here is just to hold uh, the curtain in place, even though it's on a uh, ceiling rack, which works out really well. I added these folding panels uh, just to pull out. And also, if you have the, the ramp down to keep the wind from blowing the curtain, if you wanna shower with the ramp down, this just kind of holds it all in place. Um, but this is what it looks like. It has all these wonderful, uh, you know, rain shower head, teak mat on the floor. And also I put another one of those folding things to put like that so that again, it just holds that shower curtain uh, inside of the shower, just so you don't you know, chance getting any rain outside of the shower. So the bed is in the halfway position. It can lay down in several positions. Again, you can lower this, just keep it into an L. You can make it like a U and put it down here, or you can just completely convert it to the queen length. So this is what it looks like to sit in here. You can see the uh, barn door partition that slides over. You have a shelf that comes up. You also have a shelf over there where the sink is. I have the Blue Eddy sitting out. If I were actually using the Blue Eddy right now, I would probably just have it underneath and off the countertop to give you more countertop space. Let's climb up here on this bed. I really miss not firing up that wood stove. And you know, as I've said before, for those of you who follow me, I have converted that to burn wood pellets as well as wood logs. So I'm up here on the bed. Let me slide this over so you can see. For those of you who are interested in off-grid living, um, you probably, unless you've researched it, you probably think you can get one of these Blue Eddies and just power the whole unit. But that's not the case. This unit was built to be used one of two different ways. I added all of the modern conveniences. I call them luxury items. The coffee pot, the microwave, the oven, the refrigerator, and the induction burners. Those are all luxury items. This is a survival item. It can be used. It requires no power other than the logs that you buy or the pellets that you buy and the fire that you make in there. But this right here is perfect for um, charging your phone and your laptop. It also has a solar charging panel. You can charge it with the solar charging panel. You can charge it in your car or you can charge it by plugging it into an AC unit when you have power. So this unit, I call it my off-grid emergency mobile unit, is used 
it, it's here for emergencies. It's here if you want to travel and you're not a glamper. It's not your grandma's Winnebago. It's for off-grid living. This thing is going to go wherever your SUV or your truck can pull it. I do have the luxury of a TV, again, to be used when you have shore power to hook up to. But, believe it or not, this Bluetti operates that TV just fine. The Bluetti also will operate the roof fan I installed just fine. This thing barely pulls any power, even on the highest setting. It's amazing. And yet, uh, that's pretty much what that Bluetti is gonna power. It's not meant to power an entire unit like this. So we are set up for off-grid or luxury, whatever you have access to. Now, <clears throat> I'm really happy with how this buddy works. These buddies have been around a long time. They are tried and true. I highly recommend that if you don't have one of these, you need to put one of these in your arsenal for survival gear. You pick up these tanks uh, whenever they're on sale at Walmart and just store up on uh, some of those and you have a heat source in an emergency and I'm absolutely impressed by it. The heat that's coming out of that and why I have my flip-flop sitting there, I'll never know. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my cargo trailer conversion. Let me give you some ideas of what I'm gonna do here shortly. When I opened up this ramp, and there's some storage right there. When I opened up this ramp, I thought, man, Especially this winter, if I have it parked in here, I can come out here and work on this thing. And I can do things that I wanna do for it. And it would be very easy for me to create a foldable canvas extension. And if I were to uh, build one, it would completely enclose this ramp area. I could move the heat source if I'm using the buddy right on out here and you could actually have a little bit more seating space and perhaps even a bed. Um, and that heater will heat up this space no problem. I did want to show off my water system. I purposely built my shower to have the water system exposed so that when using it in the summer, everything is right here within reach. I am going to build an enclosure but that enclosure cannot take up much space because already I'm utilizing every square inch. This is wonderful. My shower and my sink was built using uh, submersible water pumps with rechargeable lithium battery packs. Those things are amazing. So for a totable shower, you're gonna go through this quickly because the water pressure from that water pump is pretty impressive. And um, this hot water heater is when you have access to energy, you know, you're on someone's property, you're on your own property, you're at a campsite, energy's not an issue, electricity's not an issue. This works good with the low pressure pump system. Now, I also built this so that you can detach this, hook this up, and I inserted a port, as you can see where you can hook up a water source and have an unlimited supply of water. However, the hot water heater does not like to work well, this particular one, with a high pressure system because the water pressure coming out of a hose is so strong, you get amazing water pressure in your shower, a, limit, a limitless supply of water, but you will have to improvise on a hot water system for that type of pressure and those propane uh, hot water heaters that are on demand are simply amazing they're worth the money everybody says so with their reviews it's worth it if you're going to be hooked up to an endless supply of water the kitchen presently does not have a hookup for an endless supply it has a uh, large tank underneath and also a gray tank and it's also plumbed to either go out of the floor or go into the tank or both. So it's pretty interesting how I built this. Again, I built this for off-grid living so that when you have access to energy, a limitless supply, you're good to go. 
When you don't, you can also convert this into an off-grid energy uh, uh, efficient emergency mobile unit. Have a wonderful day, folks. I hope you enjoyed my video. I can't wait to um, make a video of me constructing an extension that I'm going to build, a portable canvas extension for the ramp. And also I will be building an outdoor gravity fed solar shower. Because in the summer, hot nights, um, there is no need for you to even use this shower in here. You just put that bed down in the queen position and leave it there. Have a wonderful day, folks. Happy camping, happy off-grid living. God bless you and God bless America.